we'll apply Rolle's theorem to this degree 5 polynomial x to the fifth minus x squared on 0 to 1. So notice that f of 0 and f of 1 are both 0 here. Also, this function satisfies the requirements for Rolle's theorem. It's continuous everywhere. It's differentiable everywhere. The secant line here, of course, is a horizontal line. And what we are arguing for is that we can find a tangent line that is also a horizontal line for some c value between 0 and 1. And you can see from the graph that we can do this. And our goal is to find that value c. So again, our goal is to find a value c in 0 to 1 such that f prime of c equals 0. So f of x is x to the fifth minus x squared. f prime of x is 5x to the fourth minus 2x. So f prime of c is 5c to the fourth minus 2c. We're setting that to 0 and solving for c, and we'll get a result between 0 and 1. Let's factor out a c. So we have c times 5c cubed minus 2 equals 0. And so we get c equals 0. That's one place where f prime of c is 0, but that's not helpful to us because that's not in the open interval from 0 to 1. The other option is 5c cubed minus 2 equals 0. So c cubed equals 2 fifths. And so c equals cubed root of 2 fifths. And let's, well, that's clearly in 0, 1, but let's get a decimal approximation for it. So cubed root of 2 fifths is approximately 0.737. And graphically, you can see that from my rough picture of where that horizontal tangent happened, that yeah, 0.737 looks reasonable. And so again, we've found a c value satisfying the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. We were guaranteed by the theorem that such a c value would exist, but Rolle's theorem is just an existence theorem. The mean value theorem is an existence theorem as well. It doesn't give us the c values but these computations gave us the actual c values. And so that concludes these two additional examples.